Next match coming up here on day one at the HSBC Sevens in Hamilton. Game 19, Pool B, Russia. Ranked 15th at the moment. Papua New Guinea are 17th on the HSBC Sevens World Series. There's the man, there's the man. Get down. Get Lazarenko, down, the captain for Russia, such a, a key player. And for Papua New Guinea, the captain is number one, Tokobai, Eugene Tokobai. Look for number 12, Gairo Kapana. He's got some pace out by head coach for Papua New Guinea, Douglas Guys, and the head coach for Russia, Andre Sorokin. Teams getting set to make their way out. Greg Clark in commentary alongside me. Blackfern 7 star, Ruby Tui. We've got the Battle of the Giants here. Papua New Guinea and Russia should be a bit of fun. Absolutely, Clark. This PNG side right here have been so impressive this tournament. You know, nothing to lose. But Russia have got everything to prove. So it'll be a great battle, and I'm looking forward to see what these big boys have got for us. So they make their way out. Russia, 15th on the table. The bottom core team, equal 15th in both Dubai and Cape Town, equal 11th in Sydney. But that was uh, a better result for them. Half the squad have now played 10 or more tournaments, so they should be getting better. They're missing their best player and captain, a regular captain, Vladimir Ostrosko. And that's a real shame because he is class. Papua New Guinea, they're the non-core team in Sydney and Hamilton. Uh, they were the top qualifier in the Oceania event, so that's why they have been able to be included in Sydney and Hamilton. Always a crowd favourite. Produced one of the best tries all weekend in Sydney last week. And that goal of theirs is to do well on these two weekends down under and then try and win the qualifying event in Hong Kong in Five April. Seconds. So they do yeah, make the HSBC World Series next season. Jordan Way from Australia is the referee. And so it's going to be Russia to get us underway. Now, the World Series started in 1999. And this is the first ever meeting between Russia and Papua New Guinea. And a good start by Papua New Guinea, keeping it alive. And here is Kapana out on the wing. Ducked under a bit of a high tackle there. No malice involved. And straight through. Guys, Emmanuel Guys pulled down from behind by Yanushkin, but he pops it up now to Patrick Patot. And he says, see you later. So, Papua New Guinea, score first. How about the support from Tatu? That's why he got the goods. As we see the break here from Guys, it was excellent. He drew in about three Russians, popped it over for his mate. Excellent support. Good start from Papua New Guinea. Patrick Tatut, thumbs up, double thumbs. The man from the Marlins Club on Manus Island. Five seconds. Eugene Tokovai from Brothers in Port Moresby with a pretty good attempt at conversion. Just not enough on it. So it is five points to nil. PNG over Russia. PNG have played 124 games on the World Series over the years. They've won 24. Bigger scalps, South Africa. They beat South Africa in 2000 in Tokyo. They've beaten the USA three times. They've beaten Scotland as well. Got 10. Yeah, so that was the, that kick had beautiful height on it. Any forward around the world would love the height on that ball, but it's got to go 10. And if Russia had touched it before Kenya did, which they looked like they were going to, that wouldn't have happened. Well, Russia with an opportunity to uh, hit back now. Nothing happening over on the far side, and Tatut goes in digging, and he comes up with it, so he forces the penalty. <laughs> Bit of confusion. He thought he did wrong, but he did really, really good. So now, the men with the crocodiles on their jersey, the Puk Puks. Tokovai getting it back now to Guys. Emmanuel Guys on the inside, and Malambis went without it with a clear under the line. So, counter attacking opportunity now. Ivan of Chinikov taken by Kapana. Finish. Yeah, there was a bit of a high tackle there. He just sort of grabbed him. Above the shoulder Major. line, advantage is over, and here we go with uh, Roshkin. 10 meter mark, PNG territory. Coden 
uh, to Lazarenko, the captain. And now it is Janushkin. Short side. Lazarenko caught them napping. Oh, they opened up a big hole on that short side, PNG. And the Russian captain says, thank you very much. Oh, what I loved about that attack was the patience from Russia, sending PNG from side to side, waiting for their opportunity to pounce. And as we see here, Papua New Guinea Tatut did good at the other end on attack, but on D, he just fell into that ruck, which he can't do. He's got to get out of the way. Couldn't stand up a post on their right side, and zoom, Russia straight through. Why have these two teams never played each other before? This is a brilliant match. The captain, Lazarenko, and two on top. Yeah. Shalandra doesn't miss them from in front, so... Lazarenko, 36 tries now in his career. Russia, 340 games prior to this one over the years. Since 1999, they won 87. This one? PNG just got a late sub here. That's why the kicker's <laughs> got to hold back. All wearing different jerseys, eh? They want to keep going, though, Russia do. Go. Don't Go blame on. the momentum more with Russia right now. Yeah, so Freddie Rover is out there, and Samuel Melendez goes back to the bench. And it's going to come back for the Russians, who lead by two. Penalty, Russia. Okay. That try by Lazarenko was the first try they'd scored all day. Good carry, Finish. Dimitri Sukin. And then they cough it up. Finish over! And Papua New Guinea from inside their own territory. Oops, straight through the legs. And Shalandra goes to ground. Stay last, Steve. Emmanuel Guys. Dummies, they don't fall for it. Good tackle. Rushkin. What I did? What I did? What I did? What? Wide they go. Oh, missed tackle. And Lazarenko is not going to get across there either. Gairo Kapana from the Beaky Central Club. NPNG puts the foot books back in front. 10 7, kick to come. Well, you said to watch this man right here. Gairo Kapana. And he. As soon as he made that break around his first defender, he never slowed down. We see here, Pinsy is back, has a go, and the sweeper's coming across, and he says, you know what, I'm not stopping nowhere. Nobody's stopping me. I'm getting right over that try line. L Lazarenko, the Russian captain, went from scoring to have and watch the PNG fly around past them. Excellent reply. This Papua New Guinea side. There's the extra two. Oh, I love this game for a number of reasons, Clark, and that is one of them. Sevens will bring out the best in you and the worst in you, and that is a photo of both in one shot. Brilliant camera work. Plenty of determination on the faces, and this one is going to go the 10, just. So Russia, cost you share. Coden. Come back, come back. Say. Lost your seven to scrum half. And Sukin. Roshkin. Bounce pass. Out wide. Nowhere for Ochinikov to go. Sukin. Can't find a way through. And stolen at the breakdown by Papua New Guinea. Terrific work by Tokabai. You've got to make sure these tackles stick because the Papua New Guineans will make you pay. Switch your play. Back it comes to Willie Shalandra. And he is taken by Coden. Inside ball, though. They're not going to stop this fella. Nobody in front of him. Right on the stroke of half time. And Goro Kabana has got a double. Well, what a finish to this first half. The one and only Kapana. But have a look here. Papua New Guinea have been ridiculous at the breakdown this whole game. Like thieves in the night robbing these Russians of possession. 
and the footwork from everyone. Everyone's doing work off the ball, on it. And of course, it had to be Kapana breaking right on through there. Excellent. Yeah, it's very rare for a PNG player to get a double on the World Series, but he's done it. And there's the extra two from in front. So a handy lead at the half time for Papua New Guinea. The invitation team here at the Hamilton Sevens, 19 points to seven over Russia. Daniel Guys is the coach, former champion player for Papua New Guinea Sevens. coach there Douglas guys just demanding urgency from his side on the women's circuit as well the PNG with the invita invitational team in Sydney and they just bring such unpredictability when they play very hard team to analyze and I think this PNG side present the same in the men's game they push South Africa we see them. very close-knit team but urgency is the key after that first phase the coach wants them to regather, get depth again, and go again and again because we know how patient this Russian side is. PNG, the new boys on the block. They picked up a win last week in Sydney. They beat Spain. So they're on the way to knocking over one of the core teams, Russia. Still a long way to go, but they're in the driver's seat, Papindigany, leading by 19 points to seven. Must have been a great Papua New Guinea team back in 2000 because they won 12 games on the World Series that year. The Coden can't fend away the defenders, so it's Russia looking to hit back. Obchinikov, Zarenko, the captain. Wide ball, a money ball. Roshkin right into the bread basket, but what about Kapana? He is everywhere at the moment. Yeah, it had to be him, didn't it? I think it was Tatut who went for the intercept pass rather than marking the last man out wide, and it almost completely backfired. But of course, Kapana came through. Middle. Try saving tackle. So PNG on the attack here inside their own half. But Russia really need their hands on this ball. Spits out the side. Lost forward. In the line-out, scrum on 15. Was that me? Did I... Was that a commentator's... You put the mocker game? on me. <laughs> no. Really want to see Russia with a good opportunity here. They've got a scrum 30 metres out from their try line. Plenty of room to move. Crouch! They're going to have to get around this pressing PNG defence. Find! Set! Roshkin puts it in, takes it out. And now... Yanushkin taking a bit of stopping, eventually claimed by Wesley Varley. Lazarenko over the top. Bounce pass for Alexei Kapalan. He's from rugby club Kuban, southern Russia. Now, a little bit of room here. Kostya's there, but the cover comes across. Chinnikov and Lazarenko. Coden. On the far side, it's Kapalan. Well, almost stolen by BNG, but still there for Russia. Have no trouble moving it from side to side, but so often it's just too lateral. Lazarenko and Kapalan, and now trying to get on the outside is Coden. On this tackle, Barley raced up the PNG and didn't take his man. 
Now a turnover, but no penalty. Hands, clear release. Clear release. Yes. No clear release. 19 points to seven. Papua New Guinea over Russia. Yeah, PNG, three times as many penalties, which isn't very good around discipline, but off Russia go again. Lazarenko to midfield. Of Chinnikov. Some forward momentum, but now. Wow. Good work at the breakdown again by PNG at Hollow. He's going to the pocket. And then kicked it. Yeah. And yeah, Russia now. Have a man in the bin. Cynical play. Kicking the ball away when the opposition has been awarded a penalty is zero tolerance. And the gap opened up. Hello. The PNG book books are on the fly again. Is this enough? Emmanuel Guys, a man from the Nova Club in Port Moresby, nephew of the coach Daniel, just takes his time. Russia down a man, and they were exposed. And PNG in again. If you have never met a show and go, please say hello because this is one of the best you'll see. Show. Off he goes. That is a good 80-odd metres. He's got a sprint because that's how good it was. Russia in dismay. They were doing all the right things. But Kenya at that breakdown again. PNG. And there's the extra two, and there's the man in the naughty chair. And so it is 26 points to seven. A good party conversion. Yeah, two minutes in the bin in a game of sevens. Ready to go. It's like a two-minute prone hold. It's just absolutely painful. And he'll be saying sorry to the boys after that one. So PNG kick off and claim the restart. <laughs> yeah. If you're offside, you gotta go back around. Russia too good at the breakdown on that occasion. Yeah, Russia. Showing PNG, they got just as much muscles. We see an excellent take off that kickoff. Wow! Again, to tut, that was great. Off they go again. Russia <laughs> and the PNG defenders are rushing up and shutting them down. Roshkin can't get rid of Manali. Good carry by the number nine. Salamiani, claimed by Shalandra. 10 metre mark. Just one out stuff from Russia of Chinnikov. Down the short side they go, the dummy from Roshkin. Now he gets it out to Lazarenko. The captain is claimed and into touch he goes. A good tackle from Dean Manali. And PNG take it quickly. I want to open it up over on the far side. Wesley Valley. Claimed by the front of seven, Kapalan. Good offload. The inside ball now to Rover. Guys! Over the top it goes, and they keep it alive. Oh, absolutely well deserved to get the final try. Is that man right there to Tut? But that was a team effort this whole game. Can we please just give it up for these crazy offloads that PNG are treating us with? Out the back, how you like it? Another one. It is offload central. Oh, absolutely fantastic. Why pass properly when you can pass like a magic trick? Excellent play from PNG this entire game. They have absolutely outclassed this Russian side. What invitational team, Clarky? What invitational team? They should be on the series. Excellent. The Tut got a double. Kapana got a double. And PNG have got another scalp. They beat Spain last week, a core team. And this week in Hamilton, they've beaten Russia. Papua New Guinea, 33, Russia, 7.
Well, Douglas, congratulations on the game. What does a win like that beating Russia mean to your team? Oh, it's always a good thing to uh, get a win over the core teams. Yeah, got one over Spain last weekend, and again, like backing up again. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very good. It's a good moral booster for the boys. Uh, take us into the next day tomorrow. Yeah. Have you seen some good pro progression from last week and playing again this week in Hamilton? Yes, uh, we've really uh, improved. Uh, you can see the effort uh, against uh, especially South Africa. We got a bit of a uh, schooling again with South Africa last week, yeah, but um, I think uh, the boys have uh, held themselves well over the last two weeks. Uh, we don't, as you can see, we don't have really a major sponsor. Yeah, so we've just had a two-week camp. We split up the boys between myself and the assistant coach and throw them in the deep end here in the World Series. Yeah, so it's big ask for the boys to turn up and they've done well yeah did a big ask but they're doing this helps proud you're doing this help proud congratulations sir. thank you very much sir. well plenty going on around the stadium plenty out the back too the kids want to take a break bouncy castles face painting there's some music out there some great entertainment a bit of dancing going on lucky enough to have a walk around and it really is a fantastic atmosphere here they really have tried to create a family atmosphere with some big kids there in the dodgems and of course inside fmg stadium in great conditions now some fantastic sevens the crowd enjoying the action but i guess for the players the management